It's kind of cool because in the rules of the competition, they talk about making this for your buddies, your bartender friends, people that really are in the industry. And this one's really supposed to be a geeky kind of competition. I really like that. Okay, my name is Patrick Williams. I'm with Punchbowl Social. Thank you judges for taking the time to judge this wonderful competition. Thank you Breckenridge Bourbon and Coach Sean 555. This is uh, PBR, Breckenridge Bourbon, Lemon, Campari, and Sugar. Now don't shy away from the fruit because I did spend a lot of time carbonating that shit. Drinking a punch bowl is about community and nothing says community more than one full bottle of your spirit and all the ingredients that make a punch for a social gathering. Well, punch for me is a, it, it comes around celebrating something. You know what I mean? It's, it's great to bring people together. You know, it's a large format drink, but you don't see too often. It's easy. It's not supposed to be, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. It's not supposed to take you all day. You're supposed to just like grab some bottles, put it in a bowl, add ice, and serve and forget about it. I'm really terrible at math. Uh, that's why I'm a bartender. So with whole bottle punches, it's easy. If you just think of the recipe as one part, one part, two part, you're done. So today, when I was prepping, they're like, you have 30 minutes. And I was like, cool. One part, one part, two part, blam. Punch should not be taken too seriously. I think it should be something where you dump a couple of really good ingredients that by themselves you enjoy them. So when you put it in a, in a nice punch, it's, it's kind of hard to mess that up. Especially going back to the, uh, to the early days of punch, where it was an entertaining drink, it was a really fast way and efficient way to get booze to people's faces. At your home, what you're doing is, it's almost like the kitchen sink, but the beauty of the kitchen sink punch is the fact that in order to make it balanced, and in order for your friends to stay, it still has to be good. So, you have all of these ingredients, and you do the best that you can with what you have to make it really, really tasty, so that you guys can have good conversations. Start off a little ladle, you take a sip, they go back for more. And if it's good, you have to make more punch. I don't really follow recipes with punches. I have an idea of something strong and something weak and something sour and something with a little bit of bitterness. The really old adage that rhymes that makes a lot of sense for punch, it's uh, two of sour, one of sweet, two of strong, one of weak. One of sour, two of sweet, three of strong, and four of weak. Just sweet, sour, delicious. Something I want to drink all day, not just have one glass of. We are doing a little judging on stage of our Punch Kings competition. Uh, if I'm doing a bourbon competition, I want to taste the bourbon. Oh, well, I mean, pork and bourbon goes hand in hand. You know, you've got richness from the, from the pork, and you've got that deep oak flavor that comes through in bourbon um, with, with a corn backbone from the base spirit. It's a natural parent. You know, the, 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 that kind of fatty feeling from pork is cut perfectly with bourbon. It's like the natural, it's like peanut butter and jelly. I came to bourbon, it was one of the first things that I drank as a human being. It's kind of the thing that I want to drink when I want to think about booze, and it's the thing that I want to drink when I don't want to think about booze. The Breckenridge component was incredibly important because we had to build something around what I feel is a, a very well-balanced bourbon. Basically, all of the uh, additives to the punch today were an accoutrement to really punch up the bourbon itself. When it comes to Breckenridge bourbon, I love the versatility. I've been drinking it for about, I got tasted on it about five years ago and from the very first taste, I loved it. It is absolutely one of the tasteless bourbons that I've, I've used for a punch, and it just worked out perfectly. It's not knocking you down. People keep coming back for more, and I really like Breckenridge bourbon for that reason, is that I can have more than one sip of it. It's incredibly balanced, and it's got a lot of really beautiful caramel and toffee notes. Obviously on top of the 555 10 city tour, within each city we have a competition within a competition. So these are tonight's five punch kings, and the winner here is also going to go to Grand Cochon in Aspen. The bartenders behind me tonight, they're the ones who keep our spirits high, they're the ones who make us drink. They have brought eating out to a whole other level. Thank you for what you do. Cheers.
Lots of love to the Punch Kings up on stage. Tonight's winner, 2016 Los Angeles Punch King, goes to Nick Meyer of the Rose Cafe in Sprout, LA. John McCarthy right there, there you go. Patrick Williams. So the winner of the Punch Kings last call, the grand champion, is going to take home a Breckenridge snowboard. They're going to get bragging rights across the country. And on top of that, they're going to take home a thousand dollar bottle. It's a limited edition malt whiskey. This is the finals. We've got barkeeps from 10 cities across the country here to compete, make some delicious punch. and. Um, from what I can see, the competition is going to be pretty fierce. 